after you watch that, it's going to be nice, huh? It's going to be a beautiful Ooh, day. Tomorrow right. looks great. If you like today, you're going to love tomorrow. Wow. Because tomorrow is basically today with less wind. Oh, so, that's even better, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. You know, we don't have that chilly breeze we had today. It was a beautiful fall day outside, but tomorrow, again, even a little bit better. It's a chilly night, but a mild afternoon on the way tomorrow. Let's take a look outside. Here's a live look at the city. It's a clear night, starlit sky, no problems. Getting a little cool out there, though, as the winds die down. Temperatures certainly dropping steadily. In fact, take a look at some of our surrounding suburbs already in the 40s. Keep in mind at this time last night it was still in the 60s because that front had yet to clear all the way through. Today was a completely different day. We're already down to 43 in Millville. It's 49 in Redding and Allentown, 41 for up in Mount Pocono and 53 degrees right now in Philadelphia. Winds are beginning to calm down as well. A few spots across the region reporting not much wind at all, just a calm wind. Most of the rest of the region is looking at about five miles an hour or so. So even though today was breezy, tonight not quite so much. Very comfy outside. So let's take a look at storm scan three. Our system from yesterday cleared out. High pressure's in control now. It will be for tomorrow as well. It's going to be this little boundary you see right about here with the system moving through the Great Lakes. That'll try to sag southward into the region Friday into Saturday, but it's not going to have much moisture with it. It's going to be kind of just like this, a few extra clouds. Then a secondary storm will ride along that boundary and it looks like it's going to get here on Sunday. So yet another soggy Sunday in the forecast. High pressure in control. Tomorrow is sunny and nice. Just a few more clouds on Friday. A stretch of seasonable 60s though. Today was seasonable. Tomorrow right about where we should be for the time of year. And Friday, same story just with that increase in clouds. And here's what that looks like as we head into tomorrow. Full day of sunshine. Friday, few more clouds as that front lurks to the north. There may be a stray shower in the Poconos, but most of those stay north of us. Saturday, I think we'll start the day with a good deal of sun. This is 8 o'clock Saturday morning. The sun is shining, looks pretty good out there, but clouds are going to lift back in by evening. And even though Saturday may stay dry, there could be a late day or evening shower as our next system approaches. And that one is going to bring the threat for some rain throughout the day Sunday. Relatively light, not quite as heavy as what we saw last Sunday, at least for now, but at least scattered showers, possibly just some periods of rain throughout the day. Overnight clear and cool with a starlit sky. 47 is your overnight low. Tomorrow sunny and beautiful. It is a perfect fall day. Winds are out of the southwest just five miles an hour and our high temperature 67 degrees. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast does bring Again, a little bit of a, a little bit of an iffy weekend, let's call it. Friday, a few more clouds. Saturday, I think most of the day looks okay. We'll be a little cooler at 63. Could be some showers late, but should be fine for the Temple game. Sunday is the day we'll be dealing with some rain on and off throughout the day. Rain is likely. Monday looks beautiful. But another stronger cold front comes through Tuesday. Another chance for showers. And then look at the difference. Wednesday's high, 52 degrees. Overnight lows in the 30s, and that means Thursday, next Thursday, Halloween. I know it's still a week out, mm -hmm. but take this as your early heads up. If your Halloween costume involves a tank top, which I know Yuki's always does, yeah, yeah, you really need to come up with up an alternate, uh -huh. like, you know, a base layer type type deal. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I was going yeah. as a sixer this year. Yeah, like, hey, no, Bob. no put, not gonna work. Put some clothes on, bro. Yeah, for the Halloween. You need the shooting sleeve. <laughs> yeah, we know how you roll. <laughs> You're not right. Go ahead, man. Do your thing. Go ahead.